So we have a few more questions for our health and wellness experts. We ask them to stay with us. Welcome back, Melinda Counselor from Primera Blue Cross and registered dietitian Holly Martindale from CHI Franciscan. Thank you both. Thank you. Uh, Melinda, let me start with you. Are there any other things that are overlooked this time of year for plans, our health insurance plans to really maybe take advantage of? I find the really like big thing this time of year, I mean, our days are shorter, it's dark out, people are sad, we're not getting as much sunshine. Um, a lot of people, I like to recommend that they check in with their mental health, so that way they can yeah. make sure that they're feeling good when they're visiting their family, and maybe sometimes their family might be a little bit overwhelming. Um, just making sure that they're feeling well. Check or in just with the holidays. Health. I mean, the holidays yeah. make some people really happy, and they're tough on a lot of other people who right. have you know, some vulnerabilities around there, and, and maybe you haven't seen anybody yet, but you can take advantage of it before the end of the year. Yeah, so there is something called virtual care mm -hmm. that some people can also use. Tell me what that is. Um, a lot of people can have an appointment with the provider. Instead of having to go to their office, you're able to do it virtually. So whether it's like a phone call or like a video chat with them mm -hmm. so that you're not having to take the extra time to travel to their yeah. office. It just makes it to where it fits better into your schedule. Um, that way you're able to better utilize some of the benefits that you do have. Does everybody have that available? Do you have to ask for it or find a provider who is willing to? Uh, the provider has to be willing to do it. Um, a lot of plans do offer it. You'd want to double check that your plan does cover it. Okay. And it works like just Skype or phone call, whatever you want to do. Yeah. Um, sometimes it can be really tough to get an appointment with a doctor this time of year. There's, you know, Thanksgiving, there's, mm -hmm. you know, the later holidays and then New Year's. What's, what's the approach to try to get in there if you're thinking of this last minute? Um, a big thing that we like to recommend, there's always walk-in clinics. Um, you're not having to make an appointment, so mm -hmm. if you need to be seen, if you're sick right now. Um, we also have nurse lines uh, that you can right. call, get some advice to kind of know where you need to go. Maybe you just need to rest, get some. Yeah, some the walk-in clinics are actually great if you mm -hmm. have something that needs to be seen, but it's not an emergency and your doctor's full, then, you know, go yeah, on absolutely. in. It's no big deal. <laughs> um, Holly, let's talk a little bit more about nutrition, and, and let's just speak of, of the evil leftovers that taunt you from inside <laughs> the fridge. Yeah, I think that's probably the main culprit in what causes weight gain and elevated blood sugar and blood pressure. Uh, so I like to recommend providing to-go boxes with your guests yeah, so you can spread it out <laughs> so not one person or yourself is getting left with the excess. Right, that's a very good idea. And then this last, you know, two or three months of the year, there are lots of sugary treats. We, we start with Halloween and then, of course, Thanksgiving and, and then the pies and cakes and the yeah. chocolates just come rolling in through, uh, you know, all the way to New Year's. Exactly. What do we do? I think with especially during a holiday party or at work, if there are a lot of treats around, it's best to review them all, <laughs> find which one is your best, your most favorite, and just go and have that one, rather than trying to sample everything or feel like you're gonna hurt someone's feelings if you don't try theirs. Really for yourself, just finding that one thing that you're willing to have a little bit extra of. If I can just find that Franz dark chocolate salted caramel. Right. Then, then let's leave everything else alone. Do me fine. <laughs> mm -hmm. Do me fine. So buffet strategies. We go um, to a lot of buffets, a lot of holidays, have a big table spread, Banquets. which is great. Mm -hmm. So do we eat before? Are there ways to sort of navigate the table? Don't just stand there at the edge of the table and eat all night long. I think the best thing is what we call the plate method. So try to fill half your plate with whatever vegetables are available. And you can do this at home, um, not in the holiday season too. It's a great way weight loss tip. So having half your plate be vegetables and then leave the other half for the meat and a small amount of, of the starch. What is the, if we're going to be drinking and eating, um, is there a way to sort of handle that? I, I sort of feel like if I have a glass of wine, I'm more prone to overeat. I think that's true. And, and you kind of want to give and take a little. So if you're deciding I want to have wine tonight, maybe you forgo the dessert. Or if the dessert looks better than the wine that evening, you have the dessert instead. Right. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's absolutely essential that you have the plan because you, you you don't at least I don't have the control to figure it out once it's all sitting there mm -hmm. in front of me. Think about it ahead of time. Yeah. Uh, sure. There's also a question this time of year about the different diets that people are on, and I don't mean diets like restrictions of some sort, but you know we have vegans, we have people who have you know, nut allergies, et cetera, et cetera. What kinds of things should we be thinking of nutritionally when we're putting together a meal or a spread? I think balance is the key. So you always want to have some 
vegetables, some protein, some kind of heart healthy fat, and it's okay to have dessert in small, small portions. And yeah, if your guests have food allergies, you know, there are so many resources available to us now uh, to find recipes or things for them that um, can prevent them from having to eat Which, things that they're allergic to. Right, yeah. exactly, yeah. or surprises exactly. that you don't want. And then one final question about choosing somebody to go to. If we're trying to take advantage of our benefits before the end of the year, mm -hmm. and maybe you don't have a primary care doctor, or if you are pursuing mental health care, you don't know where to start, what's the best way to seek out the right clinician? Just call. Just call your customer service team. They're generally going to be the best people to give you any of the information mm -hmm. that you're going to need on your so plan. So don't be afraid to call your insurance. Don't be afraid to call. You know, company and then say who do you recommend? Who's we're in happy. The area? We're happy to help with any type of questions that anybody has. So give us a call. Yeah, that's another <laughs> unused resource that we can try yes. before the end of the year. <laughs> Thank you so much, both of you. Uh, more new day after this.